ready to wander through the heart of Europe and explore the magic of Brussels? Where centuries-old architecture meets lively streets and every chocolate shop is a doorway to bliss? Welcome to How to Spend Two Days in Brussels, Belgium. Your ultimate guide to soaking up the charm of a city that boasts grand squares, quirky art, and culinary delights that will leave you craving more. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more incredible travel adventures, and stay tuned till the end for insider tips that'll transform your Brussels journey into an unforgettable exploration. Best time to visit Brussels. To experience Brussels in all its glory, visit between April and June or September and October. These months offer mild weather, fewer crowds, and the chance to partake in outdoor festivals. Enjoy the blooming of azaleas in the royal greenhouses in spring or the magical Christmas markets in winter. City Airport Tips Brussels Airport BRU, serves as your gateway to adventure. Upon arrival, head to the train station located beneath the terminal for a quick 20-minute ride to the city center costing approximately 15 USD. For a seamless experience, download the Brussels Airport app for real-time updates on flights, airport navigation, and transportation options. Where to stay in Brussels? Immerse yourself in the city's vibrant heart by staying in the Grand Place area. Here, you'll be steps away from historic sites, bustling cafes, and the famous Monacan Piss statue. Budget-friendly hostels and boutique hotels abound, with prices starting at around 60 USD per night for a unique blend of convenience and local charm. How to get around Brussels? Explore Brussels with ease using its efficient public transportation system. The STIB, MIVB network of trams, buses, and metros cover every corner of the city. A 48-hour pass, costing about 20 USD, offers unlimited travel, perfect for adventures on the go. Don't miss the chance to hop on a bike rented from Velo, the city's bike sharing program for around 2 USD per day to navigate the cobblestone streets at your own pace. Day 1, exploring the heart of Belgium. Morning, the Grand Place. First stop, the Grand Place, an absolute gem and a must visit in Brussels. My first encounter with this marvel was during a backpacking adventure in 2008 fresh out of graduation. The sheer beauty of its ornate architecture left me spellbound. Fast forward to 2017 and my awe remained undiminished. The intricate details and golden flourishes adorning the buildings around the square are simply breathtaking. It's no wonder that in 2010, the Grand Place was crowned Europe's most beautiful square. Adding to its allure is the biennial flower carpet event, transforming the square into a stunning floral masterpiece. It's an extraordinary sight that you wouldn't want to miss. Admission to the Grand Place is free, allowing you to immerse yourself in its architectural splendor without spending a dime. Insider Tip if your visit coincides with the flower carpet event, make sure to get there early or during the less crowded evening hours for the best views. Mid-morning, the Monacan Piss Fountain. Brace yourself for one of the quirkiest sights Brussels has to offer, and it's just a leisurely five-minute stroll from the Grand Place. Nestled at the corner of Rue de l'Etuve and Rue du Chêne, you'll encounter the Monacan Piss. Its name literally translates to Little Peeing Boy, and that's precisely what this framed statue is, capturing the whimsy and unpredictability of Brussels in bronze form. The Monacan Piss is enveloped in mystery, with its true significance remaining a bit of an enigma. Over the years, a tapestry of folk tales has woven itself around this peculiar statue, adding to its charm and intrigue. It's not unusual to find this little guy dressed to the nines in elaborate costumes, celebrating various holidays and events throughout the year, showcasing the city's playful spirit. I recommend swinging by for a quick visit, not only because it's right in the heart of the city and absolutely free to admire, but also because it's one of those I've been there moments. Keep your expectations in check though, it's a small statue with a big reputation. Insider Tip Try to catch the Monacan Piss when he's decked out in one of his costumes. It adds a whole new layer of fun to the experience. And remember, it's the stories and legends that make this little figure an unforgettable part of Brussels. Mundesar. 
Bundesau offers a breathtaking, elevated view of Brussels, complete with beautifully manicured public gardens. It's also home to prestigious institutions like the Royal Library of Belgium and the National Archives of Belgium. The best part? Access to these stunning gardens is completely free, making it a popular pit stop for many exploring the city. On a sunny Brussels day, Mont des Arts becomes my absolute favorite spot for a picnic or just to sit back on a bench and indulge in some people watching. Lunch. Nestled just a stone's throw from Mont des Arts, you'll find the delightful Le Bon Cotitien. This cozy spot is renowned for its rustic charm and commitment to organic fare, making it a perfect place to refuel after a morning of exploration. I recommend trying their signature tartines, open-faced sandwiches lavishly topped with fresh, seasonal ingredients. The smoked salmon tartine paired with a crisp organic salad is a particular delight and offers a taste of local flavors with a gourmet twist. Expect to spend around 20 to 25 USD per person for a satisfying meal that's both wholesome and delicious. Insider tip, don't miss their array of homemade pastries, the perfect sweet treat to cap off your meal. Afternoon, sample authentic Belgian chocolates. Brussels is a chocolate lover's paradise. Whether you're eager to see how chocolate is crafted, fancy sipping champagne while indulging in chocolate tastings, or are intrigued by intricate chocolate sculptures, here are some top picks for chocolatiers in Brussels, each boasting a rich history and esteemed reputation. Alex and Alex on Rue de la Paille 32 is a unique champagne and chocolate bar where sophistication meets sweetness. Laurent Gerbaud Chocolatier, located at Rue Ravenstein 2D, offers engaging chocolate factory workshops. Godiva, nestled in Grand Sabellon Grotte Savelle, 4748, is a traditional Belgian chocolatier known worldwide. Mary, founding Galerie de la Reine 36, has been an artisan chocolatier since 1919, offering exquisite chocolates. Wittemer on Place du Grand Sablon 6 combines macarons and chocolates with a charming pink tea room for a luxurious break. The bar at Chelsea de Charleroi 125 invites visitors to its chocolate factory workshop for a hands-on experience. While many shops offer free browsing and tasting, workshops and special tasting sessions can range from 10 to 50 USD, offering a deep dive into the world of chocolate. Insider tip. For a truly memorable experience, consider booking a tasting session at Alex and Alex or a workshop at Laurent Gerbaud Chocolatier. These experiences provide not only delectable treats but also insight into the craftsmanship behind Belgian chocolate. Remember to book in advance as these popular sessions fill up quickly. Late Afternoon, La Galerie Royale Saint Hubert. La Galerie Royale Saint Hubert in Brussels is a shopping haven a perfect spot to unwind at a cafe or simply find refuge from the weather, all while surrounded by splendid architecture that extends the grandeur of the grand place. This elegant gallery is home to luxury boutiques, cozy brasseries, chic champagne bars, exquisite chocolate shops, a cinema, and a theater. Whether you're keen to indulge in some window shopping or sit back and relax at one of the charming cafes, Le Galerie Royale Saint Hubert offers a delightful experience. There's no admission cost to stroll through the galleries, making it an accessible escape into luxury and history. Insider tip. For a truly enchanting visit, try to catch the gallery in late evening when the crowds thin out. The beautiful lighting and quieter atmosphere make it the perfect time for photography or a peaceful coffee break, letting you soak in the architectural beauty without the hustle and bustle. Evening. Have a beer at Delirium Cafe Bar. Delirium Café, affectionately known as Delirium Village, is a must-visit in Brussels for beer aficionados and social butterflies alike. With its labyrinth of rooms and a staggering selection of over 2,000 different beers, it's an adventure in every sip. It's not just about the beer, it's a global meetup spot. Imagine sharing stories with a family from Mexico or toasting with a couple from Denmark, all within the cozy walls of this famed café. Expect to spend around 18 USD for a personal tasting journey through three different beers. It's easy to lose track of time in the lively atmosphere, but it's time you'll consider well spent, making new friends and discovering new favorites. Insider tip. The variety can be overwhelming, so don't hesitate to ask the knowledgeable staff for recommendations based on your taste preferences. It's a great way to discover something new and perhaps find your next favorite beer. Dinner. Take el derke. 
Tikelderke, nestled in the heart of Brussels, captures the essence of Belgian cuisine and has won my heart as my go-to dining spot in the city. Its unique charm stems from its cozy setting in a 17th century underground cellar with picturesque vaulted brick ceilings. If time allows, I highly recommend savoring a drink on their patio, which boasts a stunning view of the grand place. While the menu might be a tad pricier than the street food staples of waffles or fries, investing in a meal here promises a culinary journey through authentic Belgian flavors. The menu brims with traditional delights, including hearty pot roasts, succulent meats, and fresh fish dishes. A personal favorite is their mussels in white wine and garlic sauce, simply the best mussels I've ever enjoyed. Situated directly on the Grand Place Square, Tikelderke is not only about the food, but also the warm hospitality. The staff are wonderfully welcoming, even accommodating our dog inside when we initially opted for patio seating. Expect to spend around 25 to 30 USD per person for a meal that's a splendid homage to Belgian gastronomy. Day 2. Discover Artistic Wonders Day two of this ideal two-day Brussels adventure will venture slightly beyond the city center's hustle and bustle. Yet worry not, as all the gems on today's itinerary are conveniently clustered. A single 20-minute taxi ride is all it takes to transition between these captivating spots, setting you up for another day of exploration with ease. Morning, get a real Belgian waffle. Kick off your Brussels adventure by indulging in a culinary icon, the Belgian waffle. While you find many spots to savor this delicacy, Meissen Dandoy, located near the Grand Place, captured our hearts with its chocolate and strawberry topped waffle. The journey of the Belgian waffle to America is a tale worth savoring. It all began in 1962 when Walter Clayman, a Brussels native, introduced waffles at the Seattle Century 21 Exposition. Though the recipe was tweaked to suit American tastes, these treats quickly became beloved as Belgian waffles stateside. To experience the authentic taste of a real Belgian waffle, Brussels is the place to be, where the original recipe is celebrated and served up fresh. While enjoying your waffle at Meissen Dandoy, you can expect to spend around 7 to 10 USD for this sweet delight. It's not just breakfast, it's an experience steeped in history and flavor, perfect for starting your day on a delicious note. Morning, Royal Museum of Fine Arts of Belgium. The Royal Museum of Fine Arts of Belgium are a treasure trove of artistic brilliance, housing the most significant collection of fine arts in the country. As you wander through its halls, you're treated to an impressive array of paintings, sculptures, and drawings by some of Belgium's most celebrated artists. This prestigious institution is comprised of six museums, each presenting collections that span from the 15th to the 21st centuries. Whether you're an art aficionado or a curious explorer, the depth and diversity of artwork on display are sure to captivate. Admission to the Royal Museums of Fine Arts varies, but you can expect to spend around 15 USD for a comprehensive experience of artistic mastery. If fine arts don't captivate your imagination, Brussels offers a variety of other intriguing museums to explore. The Royal Museum of Armed Forces and Military History, where history comes to life amidst an extensive collection of military artifacts. The Museum of Natural Sciences, perfect for those fascinated by the natural world. The EU Parliament Building, offering a glimpse into the heart of European politics. Insider Tip Many museums in Brussels offer free admission on the first Wednesday of the month after 1 p.m. Check the museum's official websites before your visit for the most accurate and up-to-date information. Mid-morning, get a view over Brussels at the Atomium. The Atomium stands as Brussels' most beloved landmark, captivating tourists with its futuristic design and historical significance. Originally erected for the 1958 Brussels World Fair, it was never intended to remain beyond that year. However, it has since evolved into a multifaceted museum offering breathtaking views and serving as a vibrant center for art. The Atomium earns its spot on any Brussels itinerary for offering what is arguably the city's most spectacular view. Nestled within the upper sphere, the Panorama Room provides a clear day glimpse all the way to Antwerp, presenting a sweeping vista of Belgium's stunning landscape. Delve into the Atomium's permanent exhibition to explore the 60-year journey of the former Expo 58 Pavilion, now an iconic symbol of Belgium and Brussels. Additionally, a variety of temporary exhibitions are frequently on display, each offering a unique glimpse into various facets of art and history. 
Admission is around 16 USD. The Atomium welcomes visitors from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Lunch. Just a short walk from the Atomium, you'll find the charming Brasserie de l'Atomium. This spot offers a culinary experience that complements your visit to one of Brussels' most iconic attractions. With its inviting atmosphere and a menu that celebrates Belgium cuisine, it's a perfect place to reflect on your Atomium adventure over a delicious meal. I highly recommend trying the classic Belgian dish moule frite, succulent mussels cooked in a flavorful broth served with a side of crispy golden fries. This dish not only offers a taste of Belgian tradition, but is also a comforting meal after a day of exploration. Pair it with a local beer to round off your dining experience perfectly. For this iconic Belgian meal, expect to spend around 25 to 30 USD per person. It's a worthwhile indulgence for the quality and authenticity of the flavors you'll experience. Insider tip, Brasserie de l'Atomium is quite popular, especially on weekends and holidays, so consider making a reservation in advance to secure a table with the best view. This way, you can enjoy your meal with a stunning backdrop of the Atomium itself, making your dining experience even more memorable. Afternoon, explore the continent of Europe at Mini Europe in Brussels. Just a stone's throw from the Atomium lies Mini Europe, another must-see attraction for those visiting Brussels. This fascinating park showcases miniature replicas of famous monuments across the European Union and other European countries, all crafted meticulously at a scale of 1 to 25. With around 80 cities and 350 buildings featured, it's like taking a whirlwind tour of Europe in just one visit. Adult tickets are priced at about 18 USD, while tickets for children come in at approximately 13 USD. It's a good idea to purchase your tickets in advance to ensure your spot in this captivating miniature world. Mini Europe is open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., giving you plenty of time to explore the detailed landscapes and iconic structures at your leisure. Insider Tip Don't miss the live demonstrations and interactive exhibits scattered throughout the park. They provide a unique, hands-on way to learn about European history and culture. Evening Brussels Comic Strip Center did you know that the enchanting world of the Smurfs first came to life in Brussels? For those eager to delve into Belgium's rich comic book heritage, the Brussels Comic Strip Center is an absolute treasure trove. Nestled in the heart of the city, it's an ideal pick for an enriching evening activity to round off your second day with a dash of whimsy. This central hub of comic strip art showcases the vibrant history of comics in Belgium, including beloved characters like the Smurfs and Tintin. With admission priced at around 12 USD, it's a budget-friendly way to immerse yourself in the colorful narratives that Belgium has contributed to in the world of comics. Insider Tip Keep an eye on the center's events calendar for special exhibitions or meetings with comic book creators. It's a golden chance to gain deeper insights and perhaps even leave with a signed piece from your favorite comic series, making your visit even more memorable. Dinner just a short walk from the Brussels Comic Strip Center, you'll find Le Chat Noir. This bistro offers a cozy, welcoming atmosphere that's perfect for unwinding after a day filled with comic book wonders. Le Chat Noir pays tribute to the artistic and literary history of Brussels, making it a fitting culinary stop for those who've spent their day immersed in the imaginative world of comics. One must-try dish at Le Chat Noir is their Belgian Stufflies, a traditional Flemish beef stew slow-cooked to perfection in a rich beer sauce, accompanied by a heap of crispy golden fries. It's a comforting, heartwarming dish that embodies the essence of Belgian cuisine. Pair it with one of their local craft beers for an authentic Belgian dining experience. For this culinary delight, you're looking at spending around 22 to 25 USD per person. As our two-day adventure in Brussels wraps up, we've explored the majestic Grand Place, laughed with a mannequin piss, indulged in sublime chocolates, and raised glasses of the finest Belgian beer. This journey through the heart of Belgium might be ending, but the memories and flavors will linger long after. Whether you've wandered through historic streets, marveled at art and architecture, or simply enjoyed the vibrant atmosphere, Brussels surely has left its mark on your heart. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe for more enchanting travel guides, and share this video with fellow wanderlust seekers. Your journey through Brussels might have concluded, but the adventure never truly ends. Until next time, Varvel and goodbye from Belgium.